Hey guys, it's Samuel, I'm back, and today I want to bring you another review. The holidays are coming up, you may need to get some gifts for some relatives, maybe they, you know, want something tech-based, and so I think I have something that can be a really great gift for under 25 bucks. So let's talk Bluetooth speakers. I see a lot of kids nowadays, they got Bluetooth speakers in their bags, it's at school, they always need to be charged, they're like always dead, they're expensive, you have the Beats one, you have the Bose ones, you got the little circle ones, you got all of them. But 23 bucks, I found this on Amazon, and it seems like it can be a compelling speaker. So let's give it a shot. So let's start with the box. It says, outdoor speaker, waterproof wireless speaker. Model, I'm assuming, would be S3 right there. It says it's IPX X6 rated for water resistance. Uh, it's got a 1500 milliamp hour battery. It can support a TF card, so you can pop in your own SD card and play music, FM radio, and NFC. And this is made by Infinola. Pretty basic packaging, but let's check out what's inside. Open that. And speaker. Inside the rest of the box, just another little paper. It comes with a 3.5 millimeter headphone adapter so you can pop it in to your speaker and play straight off with your aux cable. And then it comes with a micro USB so you can charge this thing via USB. All right, so holding the speaker in hand, it feels pretty solid. I mean, it seems to be built pretty well. I can see that the buttons are on the top along with the little strap here. I'm assuming you use the power button to cycle through modes, but one unadvertised feature that's not on the box that I haven't seen anywhere is the ability to use a one fourth adapter so you can mount this thing to a tripod. So say you have a Gorilla tripod and you're at a job site and you wanna put this on a pole, screw it in and uh, wrap the Gorilla tripod around the pole or put it on the tripod. Also on the side, you have your little flap for your USB, your aux cable, and your TF cable. So let's pop that open there. And you've got all your connections you'll need. So let's go ahead and give it a go. Let me power this on. Bluetooth mode. So let's see how the pairing process goes. Bluetooth pairing successfully. So it's pretty easy to pair. It'll say right there, speaker name is S3, and it pairs right away. That's very fast. I'm already liking this. Go ahead and open some SoundCloud here and see what we get out of this speaker. Grab a track here. So I guess you gotta turn up the, uh, you need to turn up the volume on your phone a little bit there at the beginning. And uh, your phone will automatically go ahead and set it to an external speaker. If you're on iOS, make sure you set your audio playback device to the speaker. And so far it's playing good. I'll give you a little audio preview here. It's pretty good. The bass, there's definitely bass in this speaker, but just to check how much, I have a little app called Audio Effects on my phone. It comes built in with uh, my custom ROM, so let's flip that to on, turn up some of these options. Let's go ahead and crank up the bass. That's some really good bass. The bass is really good. Wow. For 23 bucks, this is already sounding like a great quality speaker. Let me go ahead and pull up some other tracks and let's listen to them. Pretty good, it's pretty loud too. Let me turn it all the way up. That's all the way loud. I notice on the speaker that it does have a front grill panel, but I wonder if it has a microphone. Let's check that out. Let's go ahead into Snapchat actually and try and record some audio. Let's say, snapping this review right now using the Bluetooth speaker. Let's see if it has a mic. This review right now using the Bluetooth speaker. Let's see if it has a mic. That sounds like it's from the speaker. It gives a little bit of a hiss, but I guess you can make some really good phone calls off of this. Say you're grouped somewhere and you need everybody to listen, go ahead, pair it with your phone, turn up the audio, and then there's a pause, play, and call key right there at the top with all the buttons. That's a great feature, I think, to have a, a mic in here. But what I'm really interested to test is the NFC. Does the near field communication actually work on this device? So I've turned off Bluetooth on my Motorola and it's uh, putting the blue light up again. I'm gonna go ahead and go with my Galaxy J7 because it has NFC and I'm gonna go ahead and see if, with SoundCloud open, if I can go ahead and play any music from this just by tapping the play. Bluetooth pairing successfully. And 
and it said it paired. It took like 20 seconds. That's the NFC kind of seems a little disappointing now. I would expect it to be a lot faster there. Speaker is pretty good. I mean, for 23 bucks, the audio you can pull out of it. The only thing I'm disappointed with is the NFC not working very well. Other than that, it sounds really good. It has a built-in microphone. You can play music off your SD card, assuming you switch through the modes here uh, that you'll read up in the manual. And, you know, having that functionality of a mic is perfect when you wanna make calls on a speaker or something. The battery life is pretty good here. My father has used this speaker a lot um, on the pool deck and he's been able to play like two days easy, like four or five hours um, on the battery each day and then having to charge it up at the end of the second day. So it definitely passes that mark with 10 to 12 hours of battery life. The sound quality is really good out of it for $23. You can go out, put this in your bag, play some music while you're riding your bike or you know, even skiing or snowboarding or whatever and be able to carry this and it's not huge. You know, it's not an awkward shape. It's, kind of, it's pretty boxy. Uh, you just slide it in somewhere and it plays and it's very loud. So I think it gets all the right marks. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this review and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment so I can see what you guys want to see. And if you want me to review more little products like this, then definitely I'd love to hear what you guys uh, want to see. And I'll catch you guys in the next review.